The crude oil has been on a long journey before it lands in the refinery, where all the products we need every day are produced. The crude oil has to be pumped from tanks into a furnace for the distillation process, where it is heated to around 400 degrees Celsius. This results in a hot mixture of steam and fluids, which goes to this tower called a column. Here we exploit the natural temperature gradients. The hot gases rise, cool down on the way, and liquefy at their respective boiling points. The levels of the columns are so-called distillation trays, which have small domed openings. The gas mixture rises through the openings, cools down, and a certain amount condenses on the dome. This liquid is collected and removed. The substance that collects right at the bottom goes for further processing in another column under vacuum, and the residue there is used to produce bitumen, the basis for asphalt. In addition, spindle oil also settles in the first column, a key component of other refinery products. The heavy gas oil is taken from one level higher. This is used to make heating oil. The next thing produced is the basis for diesel. One level up, and you get kerosene. And right at the very top is where the gases collect. These are used to produce materials for the chemicals industry and for gasoline. 